Yesterday, I tore apart the kitchen, surprised my wife, moved the sink. This morning, um, my son found a leak in one of the quick connects. He was peeking through a hole in the floor that hadn't been covered up yet. And I would have checked all these connections, but um, I didn't expect a, link, a leak that brisk once the water was turned back on. I know what awaits me in this crawl space. It's gonna be much worse than yesterday. This is a tight, tight crawl space, and it's gonna be a mud pit. So I put my clothing back on that I had on yesterday, my pants, my dirty pants, and I'm preparing myself because it's gonna be really wet in there. So, here I go. Okay, wish me luck. I am going in, I'll see you in a few minutes. I've gotta get in there, cut this pipe, and redo the connection with, the, with this quick connect. I made it out! <sighs> They're swarming all over me. Daddy. So I did was able to fix the leak. It was easy. That's done. All the way up through that hole up there. Wow, I don't think I can make it under there. Next time I'll just send you all. Okay. All the all the kids? Yeah, you can do all my work under the house. You're so small you could fit anywhere. Ah! Oh. Got a little bit dirty there. Have to go get cleaned up and then keep working on putting the kitchen back together. Well, I've got this spot in the floor um, healed. So it doesn't look like there was ever a sink there, probably on camera. Well, you can see it. Um, but it, the, tile, the new tiles are a little different color. These are tiles that some resourceful person many years ago stuck away in a shed. They've probably been frozen and thawed 10 times at least. Well, 10 winters, probably 100 times. But they still stick pretty good. We cleaned the floor really good with alcohol, put those in. And while I was at it, I went ahead and put a different style of linoleum tile in this pantry because the pantry floor has been just plain nasty. Big cracks between the boards. So we cleaned that, washed that really good, put that down there. Uh, we're just trying to get the inside of this house kind of caught up a little bit. I'm not complaining about where we live, but this house is extremely old and it lacks many of the modern conveniences which we grew up being used to and some stuff you just kind of you just tough it out and it's, you're fine but there's some things it's really nice to have and i mean an example that you might relate to is um closets are really nice we talk about this a lot with this house this house has no closets in it that's been a challenge something we want to fix in the future and then this kitchen space we're just trying to open it up. We got a bunch of plans for it. Not all of them are happening soon. I do think we're going to redo the lower cabinets to give us more space, more storage space, and maybe the upper cabinets as well in the coming weeks, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I just kind of jumped into this project. All right, can you say what you were just saying again? I just said, like, this is so much better. Like, even if, can you scoot over though? Even if it, this isn't like the full renovation that I would have planned and, and all that, just having a sink move is like amazing. Because usually when I cook, I'm, I'm shoved in this little corner and the children come and they want to help and I just feel so stressed out that someone's going to get hurt because the space is so small. Anyway, I'm excited about this. It feels much better. So, yeah, we can have a dance party in the kitchen. <laughs> but I used to be totally stuck when I was cooking. I would be totally stuck in this little corner right here and always afraid that someone's going to get burned when I open the oven or something was going to fall on them off the stove just because it was so crammed. I'm going to do ballet. Obviously, the kids are very excited about this. It's called Bog Ballet. Getting hectic in here because the kids are excited. Like 
those horses? You like those horses, buddy? What do you think about a horse? It's 11 o'clock this evening, and uh, I just am out here in the kitchen killing flies. That's really what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I cringe at publishing videos. <clears throat> um, I, this mediocre, I might say it's mediocre. But um, I think something I'm trying to commit myself to is continuing to tell our story even um, when I don't have it together enough or don't have enough time to do a really fine job telling this story. And so that's what I'm doing for now. And I should probably go to bed. So I'm going to sign out. Thanks for joining us. And um, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow should be cool. We're actually going to, um, yeah, just, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs>